I would like to begin by welcoming the five countries who have most recently joined this August Assembly of the Security Council, including your own president. Although, in principle, we should have been having an exchange on the most recent quarterly report on the situation in the Democratic Republic of Congo, I will focus instead on most recent events rather than purely the report, which brings me neatly to the question of the recent elections in the DRC. The elections, which were initially scheduled for the 23rd of December of 2018, finally took place on the 30th of December across the entire territory of the DRC, with the exception of the electoral wards of Beni, Beni City and Butembo in North Kivu and Yumbi in the province of Mai Ndombe. In these areas, CENI, the Independent National Electoral Commission, decided to postpone the elections till March of this year for health and security reasons. Millions of Congolese citizens turned out at the ballot boxes, often with fervor and passion, and in the vast majority of cases, voting took place peacefully as Congolese came together to choose their future president as well as to elect their national and provincial uh, members of parliament. I would like to congratulate the citizens of the DRC for the impressive maturity that they demonstrated during this long-awaited day of elections and indeed since then. I would also like to pay tribute to CENI for the work that it has achieved and also to the electoral observers for their professionalism and efforts. President, all election observation missions, both national and international, as well as MONUSCO teams deployed on the ground, have indicated in their preliminary reports that the elections went off correctly despite technical, logistical and security issues. Everyone agreed that said difficulties in no way hampered the free movement of citizens, nor did they hamper citizens from exercising their right to vote. The wait for the publication of the provisional results, which were delayed by some three days, also went off peacefully and there was calm whilst the country waited. I was once again deeply struck by the patience shown by Congolese citizens who were determined to preserve and protect their right to vote and who were clearly fully alive to the stakes riding on these elections for the future well-being of their nation. I have used the time since the elections to meet with the President of the Republic and the main stakeholders in the electoral process in order to convey to them the need to ensure that calm was maintained upstream of the publication of the results. The speaker's sound has cut out. Susie Interpreter. Excusez-moi. J'ai été interrompu par la traduction. I was interrupted, says the speaker. I apologize. I used the time waiting for the publication of the results to meet with the President of the Republic and the main stakeholders in the electoral process in order to share with them messages about the importance of ensuring calm in advance of the publication of the provisional results. Provisional results which were finally announced publicly overnight on Wednesday and which, in terms of the provisional results for the presidential election, put Mr. Felix Chisekedze in first place, followed by Martin Fayulu and third, Emmanuel Ramazani Shadari. This communication was preceded by the announcement of the provisional results for the provincial elections. Reactions to the CENI's announcement were swift and varied. Mr. Chisekedze welcomed his victory, vo vowing to be a president for all Congolese. Although the Franc Commun pour le Congo stated that it would respect the CENI's results, the Lamuka coalition denounced what they called electoral fraud with the potential to provoke disorder throughout the country. While the results were greeted by, scene, by scenes of joy in some UNC and UP, UDPS strongholds, Many Lamuka supporters received the news with a sense of disbelief. 
Regrettably, serious security incidents were noted in several locations. Most concerningly, in Quilu, Quilu province, violent protests have reportedly left at least 12 dead, including two national police lynched and 10 civilians killed by live ammunition, as well as significant public property damaged. Our teams are in the process of deploying to Kikwit, where MONUSCO has no presence, to ascertain further details and to engage with a view to de-escalate tension. In Kisingani and several locations in Kasai province, incidents of clashes and destruction have been reported with injuries, arrests, and possible death still being verified. The situation has also been tense in several communes in Kinshasa following clashes between Lamuka and Kash supporters, and in some cases also with police. I deplore all such acts of violence and appeal to the Congolese people and security forces alike to exercise calm and restraint in this critical period. Mr. President, the week ahead may be characterized by a period of contestation and the judicial review of provisional presidential results with the final results expected to be announced by the Constitutional Court within a week. The coming days are therefore critical to the conclusion of this historic electoral process. I continue to discharge my good offices engaging with all Congolese stakeholders to reinforce the need for calm and recourse to established judicial procedures and to emphasize that a supreme sense of responsibility must prevail through the days ahead. Millions of Congolese women and men have demonstrated their commitment to the political process in their country and their determination to exercise their democratic right to vote. We must therefore show our collective solidarity with them as the electoral process is finalized and as the Democratic Republic of the Congo prepares to undertake the first peaceful transfer of power in the country's history. Je vous remercie. Thank you very much.